Um, we're trying this wine today, Regis Mine, Puy Fume, 2012, Le Désert. It's not a dessert wine, um, although the label is a little bit confusing on that matter. Um, it is the, named after the, a sort of parcel that it, they, they bring in to produce this wine. Um, Regis Mine is just a genius with Sauvignon Blanc. Um, he is, his grandfather was a cooper, and uh, his father, he, they basically had about three hectares that was for family, uh, family made wines to be drunk by the family. Uh, his father then took that over and then when his father passed away we just took over and decided to make it his full-time uh, career and and uh, and show uh, what he could do in the Loire and really he just produces stunning stunning wines. I've tried this wine numerous vintages before um, and uh, we're gonna give this a shot and see see what it's like. Um, smoky. It's got that lovely slightly um, sort of Gun flinty, struck matchy sort of. I feel like, like I'm smelling uh, the stone. Yeah, where yeah, it was yeah, made. yeah, yeah. It's I mean, you, you get that. I mean, it, it immediately reminded me when I was little. My father used to make uh, keep tropical fish, okay. and when you were cleaning out the top of the tropical fish, that you had the rocks, the wet, yeah, yeah. the wet rocks, and that's what this reminds me of. Um, just a, a really sort of, you get a real sense of, 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 of that sort of mineral stony quality to it. But it's great when you can taste the wine and you can almost you can smell where yeah. it's made. Yeah. The kind of you know, the actual the land where it's made. There there's some light notes of citrus but it's really reserved. Yeah. Really reserved. You get those you get those what will normally be secondary flavours to the fore and I think that's a really, really beautiful beautiful thing. The palate is where the citrus comes in a bit more. Mm. You get more of that lemon, you get a bit of grapefruit pith there as well. It's almost like if you if you're if you're I know you don't eat a lemon necessarily, but if you if you're if you're sucking on a lemon and you get the the pips from it, the yeah. stones from it, and so you've got a bit of that residual sort of zinginess, but it's much more of a sort of kernel-y type um, uh, flavour to it. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bottle of bottle of wine. It's got a nice acidity that's mm. not too. I mean, it's not strong. It just it just carries the wine away in a nice way, mm. but you still get a little bit of flavour left over. Yeah, I'm I'm a really big big fan of these. The first the first time I, I came across Regis Mino's wines, um, I was nosing through the website of the American importer Kermit Lynch. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Kermit Lynch is sort of the opposite in sort of influence of Robert Parker. He's an importer, but he's always focused on. Uh, European wines rather than uh, looking at the big American yeah. wines. Parker's obviously been very promote, good at promoting Bordeaux and the Rome, but also American wine. Uh, Kermit was very much more looking at the old world, and I was lo looking through his website and uh, saw that he he had these. So I just hunted them out and uh, and and found who who was bringing them into the UK. A really really beautiful perfume. Um, I I stock a couple, but this is my favourite. Um, so the 2012 Regis Mine. Le désert, pour y fumer.